This training is presented by the California Student Aid Commission. Welcome to our Middle Class Scholarship 2.0 Training Module Series. This is Module 2, Enrollment Files. Award consideration for the Middle Class Scholarship begins with the submission of enrollment files from campuses. Submitting student enrollment files allows CSAC to consider MCS 2.0 eligibility for students attending a UC, CSU, or community college. CSAC uses this enrollment data to determine both a student's eligibility and MCS award amount. Initial enrollment files are typically uploaded by institutions just ahead of the fall term in July or August. CSAC will announce the opening of the enrollment file submission process in a grant operations memo. Once all schools have submitted initial enrollment files, CSAC will temporarily close the enrollment file submission to run the initial awarding process. Finally, CSAC will reopen file submission so schools can continue submitting subsequent enrollment files throughout the academic year. Campuses should include the following students in their enrollment files to be considered for an MCS award. Students who filed their FAFSA or CADA by the priority deadline, meet the MCS 2.0 income and asset ceilings, and are meeting satisfactory academic progress standards. Students should only be included in the enrollment file if they were not already submitted on a previous enrollment file or were initially determined as ineligible but need to be re-evaluated due to new information. As previously mentioned, the submission of enrollment files is required for student award consideration. There are two options for schools to submit enrollment data to CSAC. First is manually via web grants on the student enrollment data screen. This might be a good option for schools with a very small MCS eligible population. The other option is in batch through the upload of enrollment files. Schools should use the enrollment file layout to format their data before uploading to web grants. We will discuss the enrollment file layout later in this module. Schools should include the following data elements in their enrollment file if uploading in batch. Student demographics, student status, such as dependency or grade level, total income, including the ICER number, the student's cost of attendance, any applicable federal, institutional, or state awards, and private scholarships and emergency funds. Be sure to refer to the MCS enrollment file layout for specific requirements. Schools should also be sure to exclude certain students from the enrollment file if uploading in a batch. Students who have already been awarded MCS should not be included. If an annual or term level correction is needed for a student's record, the school should list those updates in the payment roster file or manually update the student's MCS roster directly in web grants. We will discuss the payment roster file in another module. Now let's walk through the enrollment file upload process. Listed here are the four steps to successfully upload an MCS enrollment file to CSAC. First, log into Web Grants for Institutions and select File Upload under the MCS banner. On the MCS File Upload screen, enter your school's eight-digit school code and select the appropriate academic year. Be sure to select Enrollment under File Type. Click either Choose File or Browse to select your pre-formatted data file. Finally, click Begin Upload. Be sure to check your file upload status. If your upload was successful, you will see a message highlighted in green that says your file has been successfully uploaded. If your upload failed, you would receive a message highlighted in red. You can download an error report by clicking the button at the bottom of the page. Even one invalid record will cause the entire file to reject, so make sure you have formatted your file correctly. For schools opting to upload enrollment data in batches, 
they should utilize the enrollment file layout to format their data file. To access the most recent enrollment file layout, use the URL at the bottom of this slide. Scroll down to File Layouts to find the most recent enrollment file layout. Here, you can see which fields should be formatted with which data. The Comments column will tell you more information about that particular field. Any items in blue font indicate a change since the last layout. Next, let's take a look at what is exchanged between the school and CSAC. First, the school uploads an enrollment file to CSAC via Web Grants. CSAC takes that enrollment file and processes the data to determine student eligibility and award amounts. Enrollment files uploaded by schools by the close of Business Friday are processed over the weekend. As a result, CSAC produces three response files. The roster file report provides a list of students currently on your school's roster. It will include the student's award amount, eligibility, income, payments, adjustments, and more. These reports are processed and available every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Award Rejects Report includes a list of students who were rejected during the award process due to a mismatch of data between the enrollment record and CSAC system. Students continue to appear on this report until their record is fixed. These reports are available once per week. Finally, the Enrollment File Report contains a list of students who are ineligible or rejected from the school's enrollment file. This report is produced only once per week. Here's a closer look at the Roster File Report. It will include the MCS Award Info currently on your school's roster. Again, a new Roster File Report is available every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This report is available in one format, data file. Be sure to have data file selected under media type when attempting to run this report. Next, we'll review the award rejects report. Remember, this report includes a list of students who were rejected during the award process due to a mismatch of data between the enrollment record and CSAC system. Students will continue to appear on this report until their record is fixed. This report is available in just one format, an easy to read report. On the left hand side, you'll see the social security number, name and date of birth of each rejected student provided on the school's enrollment file. Each student record will list the corresponding reject reason. On the right hand side, you'll see what name and date of birth are listed for the student in CSAC system. Finally, the enrollment file report will contain a list of students who are ineligible or rejected from the school's enrollment file. Status codes include ineligible or I codes and rejected or R codes. See the bottom of the report for definitions. This report is available in two formats, an easy to read report and a data file. Just to recap, the MCS enrollment file timeline begins when campuses submit their initial enrollment files prior to the fall term, usually sometime in July or August. Then CSAC runs initial MCS awards using those enrollment files. CSAC will then send preliminary award notifications to students and open the MCS roster for payments and corrections. Enrollment file submissions are also reopened so schools can continue sending subsequent enrollment and payment files. For more middle class scholarship resources, be sure to visit our MCS webpage for schools. There you will find the comprehensive MCS 2.0 handbook, enrollment file layouts, payment roster file layouts, and other output data layouts. Thank you for watching Module 2 of our Middle Class Scholarship 2.0 Training Module Series.